e-daters, a couple who met online and spends their time playing games together. Thank you, pissbaby.com. Varwent probably has the largest e-dater community of any game. Why? Well, it's free to play and it has a voice chat. Now, WestJet also has a theory. He says it's because women play this game. <laughs> About 30 to 40% of the player base is made up of women, and I have never seen a cringe gay e couple, so he might be onto something. Riot also plays a hand in this, with releasing titles like Uwu and Soaked, and shipping characters, and this fucking middle seat mommy tweet on the main account. They're basically pushing a romantic narrative onto the game. Here's how they cash in on all this. The notoriety of the community leads to a rise in popularity. People want to oogle at the cringy e-daters, to see if the rumors are true, to feel better about themselves. I might be a loser, but <laughs> at least I'm not an e-dater. Or, or, to enter an online relationship themselves. You might say, that's not possible. <laughs> this disease is not infectious, is it? Oh, but it's an easy trap to fall into. You be careful out there. Also, Riot wanted to make it so you can only change your nickname if you pay. Some people said this must mean that they want to get rid of matching names and cripple the e-dater community. I think they just wanted more money, but they reversed the change anyways, so here's the bad news. This cringe e-dater shtick, it upsets a growing part of the community. Also, it might scare away new people that want to try out this game when they hear the rumors of her cummies and his tuberculosis. The good news is, I think e-daters will die out. I think since content creators have taken a stand against the cringe and renounced it like the very devil, the mob mentality will take place. People will follow their favorite YouTubers like blind sheep. And soon, a new epidemic will take over Valorant. Uh, but I'll, uh, I'll tell you about it another time. Thank you for watching.